Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing One Piece episodes 401 and 402. Last time we got to see, I, I I try to stack these episodes on like, it's really hard to gauge what's my favorite, what's what's this list of favorites. Last episode, the information we got on top of seeing how Luffy acted and reacted, him, Robin, and everybody else after they learned this information, um, I have to say it's one of my favorite episodes so far. It's got to be in the top 10 at least. I, I think mostly because so many people would have been wanting to take that, like the cheat codes, the, hey, I'll tell you all this information now. If they weren't people like Luffy and, and you know, the, the unique capabilities and the unique ways they all think, uh, they would have probably asked for it or whatever. And it, it and gotten all the information there but what do you that's another thing i was thinking about let's say luffy and them let's just say for fun's sake they decided to say hey i want the information now would he have actually given it like would he have been disappointed and then not given it anyway was it more of a hypothetical type thing and he was testing them by saying this that's another thing i hadn't thought of initially but that's you can't knock that as a possibility um but anyway, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash ajrich123. Check that out. That will be in the link down below. And let's go ahead and start. Well, they, they still need to stay low, not get themselves caught and seen. Oh, yeah, he would. That's another connection with those guys as well. Still asking that? Actually, why am I surprised? Oh, yeah, they have other issues here. You could pretty much just run in a straight line and you'll find one. You, you'll find a pirate here or somebody with a big bounty. Why does he have like a kind of looking like Elvis a little bit? Maybe it was just the view, but like the add the face with like, like put a costume on him or something. And well, and the glasses. What the? F he just did some Matrix shit without even. Or did that actually hit his head? It looked like he dodged it, but maybe he just hit his head and just freaking did nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh God. If that hit them, I think that was auto death, wasn't it? Yeah. Or just destroy the entire building with a kick. Um, I think that kick is stronger than Sanji's by far. Holy shit. And that's saying something. Uh, he just looks so happy and he like happy, chill and relaxed but scary at the same time. That's an admiral's strength. What? Wait, wait, wait. What the hell? Uh, what the fuck? Wait, she did it? That's part of her ability or something? She can mess with age or something? But to that extreme, to other people? I don't know why these random Navy soldiers think they're going to have a chance against any of these guys. Like, not by themselves. Oh, 
Now is he? Oh shit! Now this is different because this is an actual captain. Are they going to run? Or now this feels more one-sided because. We've seen Kuma fight. I knew he was big, but holy fuck, he's huge compared to these guys. Though, if anyone was going to have a chance, it's going to be one of the captains. They're not, yeah, they're not completely screwed, but oh, re really? Wait, wait, really? No way that was that easy. No fucking way. This is when you have to run. That type of power looks like you can destroy like a planet with that. It reminds me of like DBZ, just using so much ability, using so much power to destroy the fucking planet. Oh, wait, wait was Luffy... Was Luffy knocked out the entire time? Yeah, because Luffy didn't fight. Okay, yeah, yeah. Of course Luffy's not going to know who he is. But that would have been such a Luffy thing to forget. Like somebody <laughs> right away. What? Reflect? Grow in reflect? So maybe he has the ability of repelling things and expanding and... Ah. It's fun trying to figure these out. What the fuck? Wait, wait, what the hell is in there? Is it like Frankie? And does he have like tons of shit inside his stomach? What the fuck is he hiding people inside his? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I, I thought I was getting hit what he could do, but I, like, can he shrink? Wait, can he shrink people? As we saw, he made something grow. Can he shrink people and then put himself? Like, is he a part cyborg? Like Frankie? Is he putting stuff to people inside of him and hiding them that way? Because if you can, if he was a cyborg and you can put things in, like think of if Frankie had that type of ability, he could do the same thing because you can, you can store stuff inside him or whatever. So if he had that ability, plus being a cyborg, yeah, that would, that would make sense. But Jesus Christ, so many crazy powers all in one, like, well, matter of like 10 or 20 episodes. We're learning this here. Uh, the one time I don't think that type of weapon's gonna work. Wait, he's gonna beat them with tarot cards? Is he gonna summon a persona? Use the full. Full magician, chariot. Somebody that talks like that, people with short fuses would instantly get pissed off. He has such a sarcastic sounding voice. Oh, really? Like, <laughs> I don't know why it's just hilarious to me. Ooh. What I'm learning here is everybody's goddamn strong. And then there's always stronger. Wait, he did that with one fucking finger? I guess that's how you finger fuck? I guess he's used to one-shotting people. Oh, he used... Did he use dolls to sacrifice... That's what it was. He used dolls to sacrifice so they would take the blow instead of him. Oh, God. And nowhere to go. Does he have the power to really judge that? There's so many people, somebody could show up at any time. Holy shit. He got his needles. I guess he just had to roid up for this. So something I've learned from a lot of watching of shows is 
muscles usually don't like they're not everything they can usually be beaten wait wait there's mul is there multiple of these guys there's one there's obviously one fighting over there so there's wait so the there's there's multiple of these guys are they just are all is there just a million kumas or something or or is there like is he doing some type of copy ability maybe it's an after image like uh it's okay so it's either multiple of them or he's using some type of like copy ability or you know clone something this shit is getting bad very very fast <laughs> this is not the time for that <laughs> yeah because he hadn't he hadn't seen him himself oh what it actually i was not expecting that he did move though i have some questions here exactly exactly it feels more more like there's multiple than than like random clones of one or after image attacks or I have such a bad feeling about all this. They have really thrown in a ton of new characters in the last few episodes. Like... That's what they plan on doing? What the fuck? I, I don't... So, let's talk about the Kuma thing right in the beginning. Now, I was thinking it might have been, they might have been doing this thing where it's kind of creative visuals where you do it. It's kind of a way to to make it seem like, okay, this is actually, you're, they're fighting them now, but they could have been fighting some uh, somebody else earlier. So that was like my first thought about how Kuma was in both places, but then that makes, that makes no sense. Then the fighting style is a little different as they kind of said at the end there. Then all these fights happening all at once. They have, fortunately, this is the one time I feel that they actually have everybody all at once in the very beginning. That's something I, I do want to say. Like, are we so used to everybody being split up in the Straw Hats and they all have to do these individual battles to eventually have like a big fight or something like we had in our last arc? Instead, we're getting like a fight like this right in the beginning with everybody there so everybody can fight. That's a little different, right? And then we have so many other fights we're like I, I feel like we're learning at somebody's ability or power every single at least three or four times an episode there's just so much going on and so much excitement like they've really stepped up the action like like to a crazy level already i'm just excited as usual i have so many questions what the hell is going on with this and what is with the different type of attacks we were used to the paw thing. I guess they haven't... There's not much of that in this world, I guess. And how many times can he do this? Does he just have ammo in himself right now in his hand? Or infinite shots? some of their most powerful attacks all at once holy it feels like he's a lot weaker like this one is that's what i see this is what i was thinking like but we're seeing we're seeing another one we're seeing multiple so is it does this one we know the one we've met was uh, he had a devil fruit right so we had a, so does this one have a, a devil fruit is if there's a twin does this one not have a devil fruit 
like a, 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 that that's the the weirdest part of this is there's so many there's so many things to think of i'm I, i'm just theorizing here there's andy's and he seems a lot weaker too yep yeah it's like oh you hear it so it's ro a robot right so is it a robotic version of him or something it has to be because the other one was just ridiculously powerful not that this guy isn't strong but Oh, that went right through. Yeah, it's definitely robots. It's so you can hear the machine. You can hear it when he's walking. Wait, what? Recreated Kizu Kizuru's offensive abilities using Bartholomew's Kuma's body? What is that? Well, like putting like putting abilities like putting abilities in uh in a, like a robot body or something is that what this is what of course you are so maybe these other ones have, like he said, like somebody's powers. So maybe each one has like a different set of powers or st something. What the fuck? What is that? Dinosaur? Dinosaur gum? Uh, like, or fucking devil fruit? Got that T-Rex head. Or I guess you could just say a lizard. Actually, that's curious too. How is it bleeding if it's a robot? I'm sorry for all the questions, guys. <laughs> what? So everybody's showing devil fruits scarecrow ability? Oh. God, I can't, I can't take that guy seriously. Look at that fucking smile. Okay, this is just unfair. This is unfair. He's a, a fucking beam leg. Uh. Okay, so is, so it really is. Oh shit. It's really piano keys. It's his own fucking band. Wait, so can he use like any, make his body any instruments? He's got a stylish beat there. Hold, okay. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize. I know like these, uh, there's so much that's been going on in this arc, which is so like, but it's connected with so many things from prior episodes. I'm my brain while I'm watching this is trying to add them all up together to equal something. Some of it's uh, applying correctly, and it's like, oh, that makes sense. And then some of it's like, what the fuck is happening? So I, I can't help but just ask all these questions. It doesn't mean I really want the answer to all of them. Uh, it's more of just like I'm, I'm in real time applying all this stuff and then vocalizing what I'm thinking in my head. I mean, that's, uh, uh, I mean, that's reactions, obviously. So it's just... Holy crap, there's just so much going on. I, I am loving this. And I can't get enough of him. It's just his innocent looking creep face. And the guy actually has some talent playing his arm, playing his teeth. But what does this do? It can't be just a distraction, obviously. <laughs> He's his own, he's the DJ of the world or something? If I was applying this to like, 
attacks. You would think this would be some type of counter. Oh, what the fuck? What is it doing? <laughs> oh! So it is attacking somehow. It's like delimming him. What the fuck? There's no way this dude is dead. What is with some of these, some of these techniques being able to like delim people and no one's ever dead from the delimming? Why does no one ever die from being delimmed in this? So, the fucking legs just keep, but God damn it, One Piece. <laughs> so he's, okay, okay. So is it light? Is that his devil fruits? Is he all physical light and he can manipulate light or something? His bot, yeah, okay, so he's that type. Yeah, that's pretty damn strong. Holy cr Um, is that through? That looked like it was through the heart. So he really was out of scarecrows. Why? His face just looks like he's, he just looks so interested in everything he's doing, but it's like a, he's got that troll face, man. Uh, that's his apple, his snail apple watch. <laughs> this is why you don't buy a, a snail apple watch or an apple watch. He's just talking so casually. Oh yeah, and that, and that guy's just hanging out. I think uh, he might be a little bit more organized than this guy a bit. There is just so much happening. These episodes have been amazing. They are definitely weaker though. Like the first guy we saw, these guys are definitely weaker, but they bleed though. At least the other one did. Oh. That was odd. He's like affected by that move or something or. Though he's probably still at least a little bit hurt from fighting before, right? It seemed more than that, though. He never does. When does Zoro ever get to fully recover? I was going to say, they all can't be Warlord of the Sea, right? So multiple Kumas, robot, but uh, the other one ble like bled. So what does that mean? You wouldn't think they said, you know, red blood. We saw the blood. So is there, is there some ketchup inside of the robot? No, but like, how is it bleeding? That That's a curious thing. They talked about putting that uh, somebody put powers. It's like somebody's powers in, inside the robot. So is it uh, inside like this robot Kuma? I, uh, for lack of a word, I'm just going to call it robot Kuma. So these robot Kumas, like they... Like, are there separate powers? Because we're seeing the fighting style slightly different. So do they all have like somebody's powers, one person's powers, multiple people's powers uh, in in these Kumas? Um, since we see multiple, how many is there? Is there a ton more? Is there just a couple? They seem to they seem to work for the uh, the Navy or the government or whatever. They're listening to the commands, but they're not. They can't all be the war like the warlords. So. The first one we met, this is from the information. This, this is from what I'm I'm getting at so far. It feels like the first one we met was the warlord and is actually like the like Kuma himself. And these, these guys are like robots uh, or whatever, or clones or whatever the case they did, whatever the hell these things are, they have, they, they got made or something and put powers inside them. That's, that's what it seems so far. 
but the the pacifist thing just still doesn't make any sense to me uh on that because that really doesn't see the other guy seemed he obviously talked for one these guys haven't really been talking so they already felt robotic in the first place so the first one is definitely uh the the guy but it's just like how how and why i mean kuma's obviously strong but why i don't know there's just a lot of questions there but then we saw everybody having devil fruit the zone type logia type we're seeing um the uh the admiral having like i the from what i could tell like a being able to become light control light from his devil fruit that's what it seems like to me anyway there's just a lot of things moving parts going on um there's so many i've said this for the last few episodes there's so many powerful people at one place this makes this very dangerous um i'm just i'm worried but i'm excited i'm just, i'm worried but excited the entire time here i just can't wait to watch more uh, if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell you can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash aj rich 123 um all my links will be down below so make sure you check out all those we got a bunch of new stuff coming out so uh if you want to watch stuff early uncut patreon uh but it'll eventually be here uh on youtube so anyway thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye